Hey everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and I don't know what's going on with Nerf's YouTube channel. Again. Let me explain. I like to check in on Nerf's social media here and there, especially their YouTube channel. I'm always impressed and perplexed by what they put out as a form of advertising and entertainment, because I was thinking back to one of my favorite videos I've ever made on my channel, at least in recent years, and that was my reaction to Nerf House Season 1. I wanted to share my thoughts. And I thought I would also continue on with like Nerf House Season 2, and maybe now Nerf House Showdown, but I just never got around to it, and maybe, maybe I will. So I checked back in recently to see. That will give me the kick in the butt to start making those new reviews. Well, um, instead I found out that a lot of stuff's missing. A lot of videos from Nerf's YouTube channel are just gone. So I guess we'll talk about that today, huh? Start from the top of the list. Nerf House Season 1. God! Dang it! I don't remember if they actually posted it on their official YouTube channel. I checked recently and, well, it is still on YouTube from Julian Edelman. So I guess somehow, as part of the deal, he got to keep Nerf House Season 1 on his YouTube channel. Congratulations, I think. Dang it! For the second season of Nerf House, I don't actually remember if they posted it on the Nerf official YouTube channel. I did save a link to their website because they had a whole section on Nerf House Season 2 because they were very proud of it, proud of those new blasters. Your opinions may vary, of course. I can't find it on their official YouTube channel still, but that link is also now broken. No longer is Nerf House Season 2 proudly displayed on Nerf's website. It's just gone. It's all Minecraft now. And I get it. I get why they would do that. They want to show off their new stuff. There's no evidence of Nerf House Season 2 now. It's almost like they'd be embarrassed of it. I don't know. That that would never be the case. Nerf House Season 2 is a masterpiece. Wow, what a beautiful package from Nerf. This is great. However, this does bring me to where you can find Nerf House Season 2. There's a YouTube channel. Blessed be this YouTube channel. Let's play Best of Toys and Games. Thank you for archiving these wonderful episodes for us on the YouTube sphere. They only have four of them, though. They've got the one with Sky Brown, Guy Fieri, Clay Thompson, and Julian Edelman. I guess Diplo wasn't good enough to make the cut. Oh my gosh. You won't. You won't. And that said, you can still find these videos on Vimeo. I believe the ad agency or whoever created the Nerf House Season 2 ideas and then produced them. But I just thought that was a bit weird that Nerf seemed to scrub all evidence of them. Of course, you can find the newest Nerf House, Nerf House Showdown, all over on Nerf's official channel. I talked about this at the end of 2021. It's a bit weird that they stopped posting the full-length episodes, and now they just had shorts. So I don't know if they've posted, like, anything for a while. And then on their new channel, Nerf Kids, you can find all relevant episodes of Nerf House Showdown, a little bit more organized. I still don't understand why they wouldn't post all those new videos for their official Nerf House series on their 500 plus thousand subscriber YouTube channel. Obviously, I don't have a channel that size, but if I had a choice, I'd probably post on your main one, just saying. And now for something very sad. The Nerf Ultra Championship, Nerf's greatest competition to date. A very real and honest competition showcasing the best blaster to ever exist, the Ultra One. Yeah, the series is kind of gone. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that great after all. Was the blaster great after all? Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. Or I should say, there's one video left. One video remains on Nerf's channel about the Nerf Ultra Championship. Can you guess which one it is? You probably can't. It's Coop's trial run. Just the video of Coop competing for the Nerf Ultra Championship. You can actually go, though, to the playlist section on Nerf's YouTube channel. For some reason, the Nerf Ultra Championship playlist, it's still there, You'll see Coop's video, well, Nerf's video of Coop, and then you'll see 11 videos are hidden. So why, why still have it there? Just get rid of the playlist Nerf if you don't want to have the videos showing, or bring them all back. I mean, it was very legitimate, and all legitimate players competed, and the person who ended up winning did it legitimately, and happened to be the biggest fan of Ultra at the time, but that's just a coincidence and shows you what skill can do when combined with appreciation. Hey, Let's Play Best of Toys and Games has got them all though, so if you really want to experience the Nerf Ultra Championship 
that's where you can go. You can get all the player spotlights and you can watch the finals, the true nature of Nerf competitiveness on full display with the Nerf Ultra One Championship. God, I hate this series so much. Anyway, moving on. Now to something that actually does rub me the wrong way. I don't understand why it seems like Nerf loves to showcase their products, their blasters, as a good way to have fun and play with others. Yet so much of their entertainment seems to be missing that PvP, real Nerf battles. Because yes, I know they're not always perfect. I know sometimes the dart blasters will malfunction and the darts will kind of fall out to the side. That's just what happens. But no, it's always gotta be the scripted stuff because that looks good. Or shooting at targets, because no one gets hurt. Why am I saying this? Well, because Nerf does have real gameplay footage on their channel. From over a decade ago, they showed off the Nerf Dart Tag Championship of 2009, 2010, 2011. I can only go off of memory because it's gone. Why? Why would you remove some of your earliest footage of an actual legitimate competition. Is it hurt your modern image? Are you ashamed of previous dart tag blasters existing on the market with an actual game of people who weren't affiliated with Nerf playing against one another? When I first got into Nerf and I was first interested, that's the kind of stuff I saw online that really got me interested in going a bit further. I was inspired, I wanted to play more, I wanted to maybe one day compete if this kind of occasion arose again. But it's just so bizarre to me. Like, why would you remove old footage of a legitimate dart tag championship? Hello there. Hi. I'll admit I didn't do my best checkup on this information when it came to prepping for this video, so that's why I'm coming in later to give you a small update because I was only partially correct. If you look at those previous screenshots, and you may have already noticed, there are actually two different channels listed there, that being Nerf Official and Hasbro. Hasbro had the 2010 and 2011, and those two are still up. Obviously, I made an assumption there that it was all on Nerf's channel, and my further assumption would be if they were all on Nerf's channel, they would have all been removed, but the truth is, they're not, so I was mistaken, and for that reason, I did check in on a few other things, and we'll get to those later, but no, they're not all completely gone, I just assumed. Bye. And the last thing on my radar, going back about three to four years ago, was the Nerf Nation show with Zach King. Now I said this in my Nerf House Season 1 review, I think the Nerf Nation show with Zach King is fine. I think it might be one of my favorite things that they've put out. Is it perfect? No. Is it meant for me? Uh, also maybe not. But I still appreciated it. I appreciated the energy that Zach King brought, his level of enthusiasm while not being too over the top, while obviously still enjoying the blasters, having a good time, not taking himself too seriously. He's an adult playing with toys. He acts like it, but doesn't make it like too hammy. There were definitely some episodes that stood over the rest. Um, but overall, I would love to see more of that style of entertainment. And I think maybe one could make the argument that Nerf House Showdown brought that kind of energy back, but we can talk about that more at a later date. So that season, still exists on Nerf's YouTube channel. Cool, um, but some of the videos are unlisted. Like, ah, you can go to the playlist and you can see that there are six videos that are currently unlisted, which means that you can still go into the playlist and watch them, but if you search for them through YouTube without the link, they're not gonna pop up. Zach King's top 10 favorite moments, so we can't have that unlisted. Nerf Nitro IRL life-size toy car race with Zach King. Why the heck is that unlisted? I want my big nitro cars. Nerf rival battles with Zach King, Drac, and Nerfers 101 unlisted. See, this is really interesting, right? You got two creators in the hobby space, Drac and Sophie Lightning, who come into this show and just kind of participate. I don't know how much is scripted. I've never asked either Drac or Sophie about this before, but they get to participate. It shows that at least they're somewhat willing to spotlight creators. Human Ice Cream Sunday with Zach King in slow-mo. Okay, that one's fine to be unlisted. I don't care. Nerf Laser Ops Pro with Zach King and Kirsten Collins. Okay, they do have new laser tags, so I understand why they may not want to show that one. And finally, Epic Nerf Battle with Zach King, unlisted. Okay, this is them going to Epic Jared Battle 3. You know what? You can just remove that one completely. I don't need to see that. Thanks. There may have been other things that have changed too. I just didn't keep track of those as much. These were just a few things that I had on my radar. So when I noticed that certain videos were missing, those are the ones I went back and checked on. Hello there. Okay, future me here once again. I definitely missed some things from that previous video, so let's address them right now. Nerf funny or die sketches. Don't know how I forgot that one. On Nerf official, there was life in the trenches, 
quarterly profits, both of those are removed. And then similar to the nerfed Dark Tag Championship, one of them was on the Hasbro channel, that being boss left out, that's still up. You noticing a little trend here? Cause I sure am. Then we've got Zombie Strike Stories. Brace yourself for this one. On Nerf Official, we've got episodes 1, 13, 14, and a full episodes video. What? Oh, okay, well, I think there's some missing there since they clearly labeled them, but here we go. In the playlist section, we've got this. Nerf, Zombie Strike Stories, episode 8, 10, 7, 12, and 2. Oh, all from Hasbro with three unavailable. Then we've got another playlist, uh, Nerf Zombie Strike Stories. Sound familiar? Uh, no, this is just episode one from Nerf Official. Oh, but then lastly, we've got Zombie Strike Stories. What the frick? Episode 1, 2, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 from a combination of Nerf Official and Hasbro with seven unavailable. <laughs> what, what are you guys doing? Come on, we can clean that up a little bit, right? One more thing. Firing darts in slow motion. I don't remember how many of these there were. I think they were all on Nerf Official previously, and they are all gone. Is that a big loss to the channel? I don't know, but it is something. Are they actually removed? Are their views removed? And then I clicked. I was like, why am I not checking Social Blade? Because if you're unaware, Social Blade is a way that you can quickly check some of those analytics. It just, you know, looks at the channel overall so you can see approximately how many views they're getting per day. And if you go down to the bottom, you can see monthly gained video views for the channel, and you can also see monthly gained subscribers. I don't care about the scriber subscribers in this case. What I care about are the monthly gained views because holy smokes, uh, I think we answered part of the question there. September of 2021, if I hover over it, actually it's, it's August. Minus, whoa, minus 121 million views that's a lot of views so i think that means that the videos are just gone not unlisted gone gone also it just got dark outside almost like this is foreboding that's kind of creepy as bro don't hurt me that confirms something but also it tells me that i'm very late to this party august 2021 approximately it's only showing month to month that's uh, that's a few months ago at this point, that's last year. And even then, if I go back to the previous month, July 2021, not as significant of a dip, but it's still showing minus 670,000 video views. So that was two months, the first month to kind of get them in the mood of removing, and then a big, big drop. So why did they officially delete them? I don't know, that's the whole point of this video, but I think that kind of confirms that they were in fact deleted, not just sitting somewhere waiting to be found. Huh. Fascinating. I can understand why a company might remove older videos, especially if they haven't aged well. But what's so bad about these? Seriously, aside from the ones that are extra cringe. You're showcasing old products? Real footage? Oh, that's gotta go. We gotta get some more Elite 2.0 on the market now, and yet, they don't even have some of their most modern stuff on their YouTube channel. Dang it! Am I complaining about something that really doesn't matter? Probably, but that's what I do on my channel. I just wanna know who's making all these decisions. Who is running Nerf's YouTube channel? And then I'll just kinda ask them the same thing. Why you do this? Riddle me this, Nerf. Why you doing what you doing? If you have thoughts about all this, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Ultimately, this is pretty inconsequential, but I am curious if this means that some of their newest series will or will not take the void that these other videos have left on their YouTube channel, or if they'll just post them elsewhere. Because I'm subscribed, so I guess we'll talk about them if they ever pop up. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Subscribe for my Nerf House Season 2 review coming in five years, and I will see you next time um, with a review on how quickly I can break the Nerf keyboard very quickly. Bye.